Welcome to Trinity Kids Online. My name is Holly, and I have a really important question for you. Are you ready to celebrate? Then let's get this pajama party started. We've been celebrating someone very important. Do you remember who? That's right, Jesus. Last week, we heard all about how Jesus was born in a stable. Mary and Joseph were so happy. In fact, many people were. God even surprised a special group of people with the good news. They couldn't believe their eyes. Even though these people would have been considered ordinary, God wanted them to experience something extraordinary. Kind of like our game today. You'll see an item that looks like super blurry. See if you can guess what it is. It might not always be what it seems. The story of Christmas in the Bible is full of ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Though these characters may be considered ordinary, sometimes things aren't always what they seem. You are going to be given images on the screen that may not be what they seem. See if you can guess what each Christmas object is before it is fully revealed. Are you ready? Here we go. Here is your first object. Any ideas? It's a candy cane. Great job. Here is the second object. Remember, it may not be what it seems. It's a snowman. Here's the third object. This one is tough. It's a fruitcake. Yum. Here is the fourth object. Look familiar? It's a sled. Here is the fifth object. This one is tricky. It's a Christmas wreath. Here is the sixth object. That looks tasty. It's a Christmas cookie. Here is the seventh object. Careful, this one may be hot. It's hot cocoa. Here is the last object. What do you think? It's a wrapped gift. Great job. Give yourselves a hand. Some of those were definitely a surprise. What I have up next may not be a surprise, but it's still worth celebrating. It's time for worship. When we worship, we're celebrating God and all the good things He does, including sending His Son Jesus to be our friend forever. Let's get up on our feet, shake out your arms, shake out your legs, and sing and dance together. i 
getting to worship together. Now, where were we in our story? Oh, right. Mary had just given birth to Jesus. It was a time to celebrate. God sent his angels to deliver the very important message of Jesus's birth. Who do you think he invited? Let's find out with our friends in the clubhouse. Luca is there getting ready for a fun PJ party game, and Louise the Honeyman is here to build us the story. I can't wait to see what happens next. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Guess what I have? Another pair of Christmas pajamas. This time with sheep on them. What sound does a sheep make? That's right. A sheep says ba. You sounded just like a sheep. My friends and I are getting ready for a Christmas pajama party. We have all the snacks for our Christmas pajama party. Yum. We have awesome decorations for a Christmas pajama party. And I'm getting ready for a super fun game where you run really fast like this. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Running a race, are you? Hi, Ollie. We're having a Christmas pajama party, and I'm practicing running really fast for our party game. Running fast is fun to do. I know someone who ran fast too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> Hola, everyone! It's almost Christmas. Is anyone excited? Oh, me too. I'm so excited that I just want to run up to every person I see and have a little party. <laughs> that reminds me of today's true story from the Bible. If you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. <laughs> Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. 
Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Oh, look, this must be the night Jesus was born. Oh, it looks like a beautiful night, but it definitely wasn't quiet. You see, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby. And what do shepherds take care of? <laughs> That's right, shepherds take care of sheep. But not just one sheep, shepherds take care of a whole flock of sheep. <laughs> now what sound do sheep make? Right, <laughs> very good sheep. Okay, you can stop buying because I've got something special to tell you. Now lean in so I can whisper it. They don't know it yet, but on this very night, not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born. Let's all do an excited quiet dance. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Yay! Great job. <laughs> all right, you can stop dancing now. Well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field. And they are going to be so surprised. <laughs> Watch this. An angel appeared in the sky. The shepherds were so surprised. And the angel said, a special baby has been born. He is God's son. Go and find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest. Huh? Let's pretend we're angels too. Now hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great. Let's do it again, but louder. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. When the angels left, the shepherds had to remember what the angels told them to do. Hmm. Do you remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? Right, to go find baby Jesus in the manger. So they ran to see Jesus. And once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus was special because Jesus was God's son. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone! Feliz Navidad! So there's your story, and it's all true! The shepherds ran to see Jesus, God's gift for me and you! Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Wow! The shepherds were so excited that they ran to see Jesus! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, do you want to practice with me? Let's all stand up and run in place. <sighs> Great job! You can sit down now. Well, I'm going to go run like the shepherds and tell all my neighbors that Jesus is God's son. Bye! The shepherds couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the angels in the sky. 
They were just there to watch their sheep. Kind of like this little guy. Do you remember what sound a sheep makes? <laughs> That's right, ba ba. When they heard the good news from the angels, they rushed to see Jesus. They knew he was special because he was God's son. They couldn't wait to tell everyone they knew all about Jesus. We can too. We can say to others that Jesus is God's son. Try saying it with me now. Jesus is God's son. <laughs> That's great. The shepherds weren't the only ones to come and visit Jesus. God placed a very special star in the sky to lead the way to Jesus. Come back next week to learn who followed that star. Bye!